Tesla claims that its new high-performance electric car can do everything that our other electric cars can't. Charge the battery in minutes instead of hours, drive like a sports car instead of a milk float, and cover more than 250 miles without needing to stop and recharge. And the electricity is free. We've come to California to test those claims on a 500-mile journey from Los Angeles to Palo Alto. This is a Performance Plus 85 kilowatt hour Model S. Um, this Model S has just about every every feature in it, all the bells and whistles. I'll just click and drag to open it. Wow. <laughs> it's one of my favorite features. Now one concern that people have when they're driving an electric car is where they're going to charge up. Up and down the coast here in California, there are various supercharging stations operated by Tesla. But there's another feature of this car, and that is a map that shows you the location of good Samaritans. People who, if you're running out of electricity, will give you some charge, free of charge. So the blue circles on the map represent good Samaritans. There's one about 30 miles up the coast from where we are. Let's tap on it. And here he is, Ben W. He gives his phone number and his address. I'm going to ring him up and see if he'll give us some free electricity. The charger is in the garage, so you can just call all the way forward into it. OK, thank you. Here, it's as easy as I've got the adapter from the old style Tesla charger. And you know, it's uh, so quiet and it's got that little whine when you floor it uh, and it just sounds like something out of Blade Runner or, you know, some sci-fi movie. I have solar panels up on the roof of the house here that generates enough power for my car plus half of my house usage. And so it really is a win-win. Now, home charging is a very nice and friendly way to meet other electric car owners. But if you want a really quick charge, you need to come to one of these. It's a supercharging station and they're positioned about 150 miles apart, all down the California coast. Now, the charge from one of these stations takes about 20 minutes to give you about a 130 mile range. And all you do is open the flap, put it in, away you go. So while it's charging, I'll go and get a cup of coffee. I don't know what's happened to the Californian sunshine, I think that needs supercharging too. has got exactly the same model of Tesla as us. I needed it. I, I went with this because of the range. So I have family down in San Diego, uh, and so I'll be able to drive down there um, with the 250-mile range, stopping, you, stopping along the way. And you didn't buy just any old Tesla. You bought the Performance Plus. So this does 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, about the same as a Porsche Carrera. Yes, it goes You bought a fast. supercar. Yeah. Is that the real reason you got it? Yeah, because it's really fast and really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and very smooth and very quiet. Um, the, it just responds beautifully, and going the, over the hills in California, it handles beautifully. The first Teslas will be delivered to British customers in the spring. By that time, the company says it will already be building supercharging stations, and within two years, Owners will be able to drive routes that span the length and breadth of Britain without having to pay to recharge. We're just heading up Highway 101 towards Palo Alto, which is the epicentre of Silicon Valley and also the headquarters of Tesla. And as we get closer, we can see more and more of these cars on the road. But it's easy to dismiss them as the playthings of wealthy Californians. But there's more to the car than that. They're a bit like the first fax machine or the first mobile phone. It's first generation technology, but you can see that you're in on the ground floor of something that's very new, interesting and likely to catch on. After all, lots of other things started on a relatively small scale on the west coast of America. Surfing, coffee shops, health food, jogging, and a little company called Apple Computers. And we all know what happened to that. <laughs>